Hi there, Tereska in my urban seedling home garden. Um, just want to talk a bit about tomato plant health. Uh, so if your snow pea vines have started yellowing at the bottom uh, and started dying, it's a good time to rip them out to make room to put your tomato plants onto the trellis. Um, if your tomato plants are not as big as mine, don't worry. I planted mine super early since I was too late to plant a lot of the spring stuff. Um, so in order to put your tomato plants on the trellis, grab the end of the vine and wrap it around the trellis netting. Uh, you could do that about once a week uh, to attach the tomato plants to the trellis. Um, also, you want uh, to remove anything that does not fit onto the trellis so it's not uh, invading the rest of your garden. So, for example, uh, this branch here um, is not on the trellis and I'm going to just remove it because I don't feel like I have room for, uh, for more stuff on there. Um, with the hot and wet weather that we've been having lately, uh, it's perfect conditions for some tomato, uh, fungal, and bacterial diseases like leaf spot and um, and, and bacterial wilt. Uh, we got some leaf spot in our tomatoes, which is why you see the bottom uh, of our tomatoes are very bare because I had to remove a lot of leaves. We didn't get it early enough. Um, here's one that I missed. So here's a, a leaf, uh, leaf spot that's pretty far gone. Uh, here's another example of leaf spot. Uh, so if you see any leaves that are affected like that, remove them right away. Um, and dispose of them in the garbage, not in the compost. Um, also, Sean uh, read that um, the having a presence of copper in the garden, in the tomato plant, can help. So he stripped some copper wires and stabbed uh, each tomato plant uh, with a bit of wire to provide the plant with copper. Um, we'll see if that does anything. I guess it can't hurt. Never know. Uh, also, another thing that we're going to be doing, here's some more uh, tomato or leaf spot that I'm going to be removing. Um, another thing that you can do and should do is uh, if you have a presence of some kind of fungus like this in your plants, you can spray with 100% or 3% um, peroxide, 100% 3% hydrogen peroxide, as in don't mix it with anything. Um, and that can just uh, kill any spores that are on your plants. If you don't want to use peroxide, you can also use a baking soda, baking soda solution like you would use for a powdery mildew. Uh, speaking of, here on my cucumbers, I still have some downy mildew is what I assume it is. Uh, so same thing, remove the leaf and spray the rest of the plant with uh, the baking soda solution, which is uh, about... Uh, you know, a couple of, uh, about 10% uh, baking soda to the, to the whole thing, a couple, couple tablespoons to a liter, let's say. Um, and same goes for any other plant. If you see any disease or any damage, uh, then remove the leaf right away uh, so it doesn't spread to the rest of your plant and the rest of the garden.